Let me show you how to make the most delicious birria tacos at home. Here's the recipe. We're gonna start by taking our chilies. We've got 30 grams of ancho chilies, 10 grams of chipotle chilies, and 20 grams of guajillo chilies. Sorry if I mispronounced any of those. Slice the dried chilies and remove any of the seeds from the inside. Be cautious here, you might wanna wear gloves because the spice can get underneath your fingernails and then if you touch your eyes or anything like that, it can be quite painful. Throw these chilies into a pan on a medium to high heat and we're gonna toast these alongside some cumin seeds. Once toasted, we're gonna add 500 milliliters of warm water and let that simmer for around 10 minutes until the chilies and seeds have softened. Throw your now hydrated chilies and cumin seeds into a blender alongside all of those juices. Alongside this, we're gonna add one whole onion, seven garlic cloves, two heaped teaspoons of chipotle paste, salt and some dried coriander to season, and then we're gonna blend this away until smooth. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. It goes a long way for a small creator like myself. Once the paste is nice and smooth, set that aside whilst we work on the rest of the dish. For the meat going into this dish, I've got some beef short ribs and some oxtail going in. My beef short ribs, I've got about five of these which I've sliced up and seasoned generously with salt. I've done the same thing with my oxtail. Once your meat has been seasoned, we're gonna add some oil into a nice deep pot, and then we're gonna go in with our beef and give it a beautiful bit of color. Once you've browned your meat and given it a nice crust, we're gonna go into that same pot with our paste that we made earlier. Follow through with one tin of chopped tomatoes and then load in all of that meat. Once that meat is loaded in, we're gonna add about 300 milliliters of water and fill that pot to the top. Go in with two cinnamon sticks and around four bay leaves, and then we're gonna let this simmer for around three and a half to four hours until that meat falls off the bone. Four hours later, this is what you're left with, the most juicy and succulent beef. We're gonna remove the beef, separating it from the sauce, and then with this sauce, there's gonna be a fatty layer that sits on the top. We're just gonna skim this off and set that aside into two separate bowls, one with our delicious sauce and one with some of that fat, which I'll show you what we're gonna do with later. Set those sauces aside, and then we're just gonna shred our meat. Look how easily it just comes apart. Super delicious and tender meat. Once shredded, throw your meat into a bowl and then load it with about 10 to 15 tablespoons of that sauce. Toss it all together, ensuring it's nice and juicy. Now everything's done, we're ready to start assembling. Take your corn tortilla and dip it in some of that fat that we've reserved and set aside. Place that down into the pan, then go with your meat, and I added some mozzarella as well. Give it a flip and let that cook through and get crispy on both sides. Once cooked, I like to open it up, finish it with some fresh coriander and lime juice, and then you're ready to serve and enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I do awesome recipes every single week. Thanks for watching.